Next question, why is a thread local and memory leak across a process? Okay, um, what tends to happen, is it's all to do with reference chains. So if a web application creates an object and puts that into a thread local, you end up with a reference chain that goes something like uh, from the thread, because the thread is still running, so that, that's in memory, um, to its list of thread locals. The list of thread locals obviously contains a reference to the object that has been placed there. That object contains a reference to the class. The class contains a reference to the class loader, which in this case would be the web application class loader, and that's, that's the memory leak. The fact that you have a reference chain to the web application class loader, because there's no guarantee that that thread is ever going to get, be returned to the web application. It might never service a request for that web application again. And if that happens, um, what you'll see is that that thread local will permanently stay attached to the thread, and that, that reference chain will basically go all the way through and pin the web application class loader in memory, and that's what, that's what triggers the memory leak, because when you reload the web application, that web application class loader is thrown away, but in this case it can't be because the thread local pins it in memory. Uh, is there support for GSP 2.0? Yep, uh, GSP 2.0 is supported in Tomcat 5, Tomcat 6, and Tomcat 7. So the spec version supported Tomcat 5 is GSP 2.0, 6 is 2. GSP 2.1, and 7 is GSP 2.2. Uh, are there any performance improvements um, marginal as a result of the code cleanup? I wouldn't necessarily expect to see anything significant. Can I provide some information about Windows authentication improvements? At the minute, there aren't any. We haven't implemented it. But if you search the user's mailing list archive for a third-party product called Waffle, um, then that's available. Ah, follow-up, you didn't mean GSP 2.0, he meant JSF. Uh, Tomcat doesn't provide the JSF libraries, but you can certainly drop JSF 2.0 in and it will work. When do I plan to release Tomcat 7 officially? It was released last week. Uh, stable release plan, we've covered that. Is memory leak only detected on application restart? Uh, yes, with the, with the features that are provided by Tomcat. It's quite tricky to detect um, those sorts of memory leaks without doing a, a reload. Um, you might be able to see something with a profiler, but there'll be an awful lot of noise there that you'll have to work through. It's a lot easier to, to, do a, to just reload the web app and then see if the leak is still there. Uh, cluster changes compared to version 6. Uh, Philip did start the implementation of using multicast for uh, session state replication rather than just no discovery. I don't think he's, he's completed it yet, though, so that's something that's probably going to come along later on in the Tomcat 7 lifecycle. Java EE compliant. Well, Tomcat, Tomcat isn't fully Java EE compliant because it doesn't implement EJBs and or JTA and all of that. However, it, it has passed the servlet, JSP, and EL compatibility tests and is fully compliant with the, or the spec. As far as the tests are concerned, it's fully compliant. Tomcat should be. There's always possible that there'll be a bug that isn't caught by the tests, and if, if those are reported, then um, they will get fixed. Uh, what about support for Spring 3? Yep, Spring 3 will work on Tomcat, uh, certainly 7, certainly 6, and possibly 5 as well. Uh, is there any web-based administration page available? The best you've got is the manager app. Um, it's not perfect. It only does a single virtual host on a single instance. If you're looking for something that can do more than that, um, then there are a number of products out there, and with my Spring Source hat on, I would say take a look at Hyperic HQ. Uh, any other plans on improving the clustering features? Um, nothing as yet over and above the, the one I mentioned about the um, using multicast for state replication. If you have a look in the Subversion repository, there's a proposals document that's in the top of the Tomcat 7 tree. I think it's also in the, in the uh, Tomcat 7 source distribution. Philip's jotted down some other ideas for clustering in there, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do know they're there. Um, and that's sort of, the, sort of his ideas for the future direction of clustering. Uh, maximum JVM for Tomcat 7, 6 or above. So 
Uh, I've also run it on um, an early release of uh, Java 7, and it's absolutely fine. What about Tomcat connectors? Um, no real changes there. What about expression language parsing? In Tomcat 6026, you have different nodes for each directive action. There's a visitor to these nodes. What about visitors for EL nodes? Uh, not really sure what you're talking about there. The EL implementation is completely independent in 7 as it is in 6. Um, the parsing of the EL is totally separate from the parsing of the JSPs. Um, so in terms of Tomcat 7, there's no real change for how it's done in Tomcat 6. We've just supported the new features, namely method um, invocation. Uh, any development in web app separations, i.e. Uh, different web apps using different versions of a third-party library deployed to globally to Tomcat? Uh, short answer is no. The slight longer answer is don't do that. Um, web applications are meant to be um, independent. So if it needs a third-party library, memory is cheap, disk is cheap, just deploy it with a web application. Generally trying to deploy a common library to Tomcat where it's available for multiple web applications is going to trip you up either when you, tr when you need to do an update and the, the version dependencies have changed, or if you then try and deploy a web application that has that library deployed internally, it's possible in certain circumstances for the class layers to get confused and you can start to see class not found exceptions. So generally, I would just avoid that entirely. Uh, commanding the internals to find JDM usage, that's provided by the JDK. Remote logging, uh, no support. How many instances can you create in Tomcat 7? As many as machine will handle. Uh, when's the first official release expected, as I said last week? Uh, does the undeclared namespace provide an informant impact? Not that you're going to notice. It's only done during JSP compilation. Um, you Somebody who's got a third-party library calling System Exit, how can you log it? Uh, turn on the Security Manager and log failures. That will tell you where, it, where that's happening. Can the embedding ease web application testing? Um, ye yes, I think it probably can, um, because you can then include that Tomcat instance in your unit test. If you want some examples of how to do it, um, then take a look at how Tomcat does its unit tests with its web applications. There's nothing in the terms of a sort of formal specification definition of that yet. Um, if an out of memory error occurs, will Tomcat create a thread and heap dump? Uh, no, you can get the JVM to generate the heap dump. You can't get it to generate the thread dump. Um, does memory protection impact performance? No, you f uh, there's a, the detection will slow uh, web app relayed down a little bit, but the protection um, should be totally transparent. Seam support, nothing specific. Um, no reason why no reason why it won't work, but there's no um, specific libraries provided in Tomcat. Is it possible to see the memory usage per application? Um, afraid not. Uh, what you can do is you can get how much memory each session is using. Um, it's available in both Tomcat, although the third-party utility Lambda Probe has a better user interface for viewing that. Uh, what do we use from Java 6 that it now needs to run? Off the top of my head, absolutely nothing. There might be a couple of um, APIs around um, M-Beams that we're using, but other than that, can Tomcat 7 handle JPA persistence units? I want to say yes. I believe it should handle the annotations correctly, but it's um, it's not something I've actually tested, um, and I wouldn't be too surprised to find if there's a couple of edge case bugs there. Um, obviously, Tomcat doesn't provide a JPA implementation, so you need to provide that. New Eclipse integration points enhancements? No, but Tomcat 7 is available for Eclipse. What's the size of a minimal embedded Tomcat setup? Uh, off the top of my head, it's a couple of megs worth of jars. And with that, we've come to the end, and I'm definitely out of time. Thank you all very much.